Hey, hey everyone, Vita here back with a second video for Saturday, July 20th. It is precisely 11.22 a.m. on the clock. So let's get into it, see what else the guides, the guides would like for the collective to be aware of. Some of you could be in Australia. Some of you could be dealing with the court system, lawfare. People are using, misusing the justice system to fight their so-called enemies, astral witchcraft. Some of you could feel like you're being psychically attacked. Van life here. Some of you are nomads changing things up. Someone's changing things up. Some of you could have new love coming into your life. Again, we've got psychic attacks, Cajun army, something about search and rescue. So let's get into it. Oh, wow. Here we go. Spiritual bounty hunter. Some of you are indeed spiritual bounty hunter foots foots boots on the ground some of you could like walking barefoot in the sand in the grass being grounded getting grounded some of you are working on grounding yourself doing some more exercise getting your body moving so there goes that crack cracking through dimensions cracking through boundary someone is psychically attacking you trying to crack through your boundaries yep look at this the full here we go again 54 or 45 something is going on in your life that is so obvious you are ignoring the impending danger you could be in emotional or physical danger wake up and do what you must so this is that global energy coming through again there's a situation that has passed. The danger is still very present. Some of you could really feel like, you know, someone's watching you. Just keep your head on a swivel. Um, false accusations, that energy is starting to come around again. So there is someone that is being falsely accused, perhaps, of a crime. Let's get another card. Don't take this if it doesn't resonate. Here we have trust, 60. During this time, you may encounter a new love. We saw the new love card. I'm telling you, new love is coming in for whoever wants it. You know, you have to want, want it. You have to be open to it. Keep an open mind and heart, which will lead you to love or friendship. Learn to trust yourself. Learn to trust your intuition. So with... This 54 here, the fool, and trust 60. Some of you are relearning to trust your intuition after getting burned, perhaps. Someone got burned. You feel like someone might have even gotten the best of you. It happens. You can't win all the time. You know, sometimes we got to take our hits. But it's how you take the hit. It's how you get back up. It's how you land on your feet. It's all a part of the process. Things can't be rosy, you know, go lucky all the dang on time. What? Oh, look at this obstacle. 17, as I say that, number 17, star card, star seed energy coming through. You will at this time encounter obstacles. The solution is not to expect defeat, but to find answers. Rely on your inner strength to overcome any situation you will become wiser from this experience so for some of you that have gone through something that kind of burned seared through your soul you're coming out of it you will come out of it yeah obstacles trust trust the process sometimes we don't want to hear that sometimes i don't want to hear that trust the process i know when i was going through one of what perhaps could be three dark nights of the soul there was nothing that you could tell me that was going to make me feel better but i kept it to myself at that time i did i kept my dark night of the soul to myself it was intense i didn't know what was happening other than i was getting my ass handed to me but all kinds of energies i did not know what to what to make of it but you know, when you feel like you're getting knocked out, you just got to keep getting back up or take a break. Maybe some of you are in the energy where you feel like you need to take a break right now. Risk. Number 10, you must not take any risk at this time, such as love, money, or career. You may find yourself manipulated by someone you love or trust. Be alert. Trust right here. See, this is what I'm saying. This energy is like back and forth, back and forth, up and down. 
it's, it's hard to make head or tails of it. So it's just a few narratives that are playing out. This could be something that you've already gone through. You might be closed off to new love because you've been burned and you don't want to go through it again. Sometimes we go through things more than once. It's, it's, yeah, it's just what it is. Something is just what it is. It doesn't require your full understanding at this time. There's something that you could feel like you're not fully understanding. It's just, it's not meant to be at this time. Maybe all the information hasn't come through yet. Something about the information. Something's being stuck. Something's being delayed. I keep saying being, but I hear myself saying been. Been. Someone's in Canada. I know Canadians, they say been. Been. Yeah, it's different. It sounds different. So you could be Canadian. You could be Australian or dealing with someone that's in those two places, countries. What? distractions you could feel like you're distracted you can't get your thoughts clear something about clear thoughts why is the fool here this this danger trusting your intuition and not trusting your intuition here we have mature woman it's sideways so some of you could be dealing with a matriarch a mature woman could just be mature in appearance you could be this mature woman not realizing that the people you're currently trusting can't be trusted or you did trust someone. Be careful who you allow to move in your home. Don't take in any strays. Trust. Don't trust any strays right now. All right, what do we have? Gift. So something about a gift. So this gift here is trusting yourself. Trust your gifts. Trust that you can have what you want, what you know you deserve in life. Someone sees you as a bit too lucky. Someone's resentful, jealous of your gifts. Here we've got high honor. That card came out in the last reading. Someone wants to give you something. You've got new love coming to you when you're ready for it. You've done the work. You continue to do the work. There's someone that feels banished, like they're on the sidelines. You could be coming out of an energy where you felt like you were on the sidelines, watching life pass you by, and now you've you've got back on. You've gotten back on the horse. Something about getting back on the horse. Some of you could like horses, have horses. Something about moving fast, galloping. Could even be an exercise routine, doing some sort of galloping. To uh, strengthen your, I don't know, aerobic, I don't know. Obstacles number 17. So wait a minute. Obstacles is 17. This gift is 17. So let me look at this card again. You will become wiser from this experience. So whatever experience this is, it's designed to make you even more wise. Solution encounter so this could have to this could be some surprise encounter you might end up having with someone that you didn't think you were going to see again i don't know this could be a gift coming to you but it's got some strings attached with this ribbon here there's a gift that has some strings attached wise obstacles here We've got occupation. So it could have to do with work. It could have to do with someone that's just got too much attention on you at this time. Someone's very focused on you. Something about scissors here. I don't usually notice these scissors. Cutting something, cutting something away. Cutting the ties that bind. Not allowing anyone to disrupt your thoughts. Something about white satin, white satin, main male here is at the bottom of the deck, followed by bad health. So we've got 31 and 1, so 3, 1, 1 could be significant to you. Uh-oh, what's this? All right, well, let me hold on. This is an interesting, I'm looking at the numbers more so than the characters here, but we do have bad health that is between this wealthy man and this main male. So for some of you, you could be do dealing with two dueling. These two are at, at each other. 
I don't know what this is about. This is a situation between two masculines here, dueling on the other side of the coin. Both of these energies could be under the weather, sick, or they want each other to be sick. 13, 31, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1, 1. That could be significant. 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. I don't know, man. This is interesting. I'm going to keep it out and see what else I get for that. That's interesting. It's a community. So this could be a community type of thing. Work. Bad health. Someone's overseeing someone's some, something about power of attorney. Community, despair, great fortune, distant horizon, adjudication, imprisonment. Someone could be facing prison because they mismanaged someone's estate. This could be three. This could be three energies. This could be these two could be brothers even. And this could be a father here. There's a lot of different scenarios that that could do. Yeah, something. I don't know what this is exactly how it might fit in your current environment. Let's keep going. Something about the current environment, the current news cycle. Something's a little off. There's obstacles. There's new obstacles, a new plan. Someone's got a new plan. Why is this mature? So this mature woman is sideways. This could be this bad health here as well. Number six. Something's been delayed danger mature woman the fool someone thought you were a fool yeah look at that eight of swords clarifying this mature woman sideways so i feel like this is someone is facing imprisonment it has to do with uh some sort of theft but there's physical danger here too eight of swords is emotional Someone feels trapped. Someone feels like they have nowhere to go. Someone's been threatened. So on a global scale, there is a feminine, mature woman energy that has been threatened. Threatened with imprisonment. What did she do? Two of Cups at the bottom, followed by Five of Cups. Nine of Wands. So this could be some adversary of yours that feels under fire right now for coming coming at you. Someone came at you, now they're under fire. Something about being under fire. Huh. Let's get another card for Eight of Swords with this mature woman. Oh, Lord. Ten of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, someone's trapped. They got trapped by their own betrayal. So if you have been betrayed by some mature woman, this could be anyone, they're now trapped. Oh, it'll be interesting to see if the trap card comes out. Okay, we've got a card here, two of coins. So someone's very ambivalent when it comes to approaching you. Someone feels like they need to approach you. Someone could have tried to cause you harm and they ended up getting hemmed up. Someone got hemmed up. Gift. So this could be some sort of setup that's gone really bad. A setup that's backfired. Five of coins. This is... This is what I'm saying. This is some sort of setup energy. It could very well be a Ponzi scheme type of thing. Someone's feeling like those. Someone wanted you to feel like the world was against you, said that you so that you would not trust your own instincts, so that you would question your intuition. Someone's very resentful of how intuitive you are, how intelligent you are. Someone's trying to say that you fight for the enemy. Hmm. Someone's competing with you. Someone needs a favor. Someone needs a loan. Whoever you are, you're very self-efficient, sufficient. Something about your efficiency. 
Why is occupation here? At the bottom, we got page of clubs. Something about a message. Whoa, here's another crack. Yeah, look, eight of wands, king of pentacles, six of swords. So we've got a king of pentacles that's on the move, being divinely guided, wanting things to speed up. So there's a masculine energy. This king of pentacles could be this wealthy man energy right here. The six of swords wanting to calm things down. Someone could be traveling overseas specifically to Australia if you're currently in the States. Someone wants relief from a situation. Okay. Hmm. Your hard work is paying off. You've been working really hard, not seeing the results. So this is interesting here because this is three. So we could put this six of swords underneath the wealthy man, this king of pentacles underneath the bad health, and this eight of wands underneath the main male. So again, we could have two. We could have, yeah, this is three masculine energies here. What in the world is going on? So we have one masculine energy here that can't move, okay? And we've got this wealthy man here that's being divinely guided, starting over after feeling very defeated. Could be moving away from this mature woman here, having felt trapped. There was some sort of trap with this Eight of Swords. This is going all kind of different ways. I'm not sure what... This feels almost like... I don't know. This is like some sort of, I don't know what this is. Hold on, let me get some more. Okay, page of clubs, judgment, two of cups, five of cups. So someone is under severe judgment. They misjudged you. Let's get another card for this six of swords with the wealthy man. Higher, ooh, Hierophant and the four of clubs. So this is about stability. This is about industry. So this wealthy man could be like a CEO, have a lot of authority, a lot of pull. Someone tried to stop this energy, but they're moving on. Hierophant, four of clubs. I need, what's this picking out? Picking out the fool. We started off with the fool here. So... Someone's leaving behind a lot. This person who could perhaps have a lot of uh, resources, money, those things aren't mattering to them anymore. Someone's throwing in the towel. Something about throwing in the towel. Towel. T-A-U. Dow. Hmm. Let's get another card for four of clubs. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles clarifying four of clubs. Okay, why is a Hierophant here? So we're talking about some major gifts. We've already got gift out. We've got five of Pentacles here, though. Trust. Someone wants to assist you if you've got some sort of new startup business. Someone wants to invest. Someone wants you to be stable. This could be new love here. Let me keep, I don't want to jump the gun. Something about jumping the gun. Let's get another card, Hierophant. Okay, we've got three of coins. It's kind of landing sideways under five of coin. So this is some new opportunity. It has to do with finance, stability, something that you're manifesting investments, a new job opportunity, a new financial beginning. So this wealthy man could be starting a new business venture and is scouting you out. I feel like someone is scouting you out. Why is Hierophant here? Let's try this again. So we've got the Hermit and it's landing crisscross over this four of clubs between this five of pentacles. So you could be presented with an opportunity that you do kind of feel like is too good to be true, that it does have strings attached. I did say that, 
but this could be something that could turn out really good for you in the long run. You just have to be cool. You just have to be cool. Objective. Again, with the word objective. You're someone's objective. Like, you're their end goal. You're guiding someone. Someone who was headed in a different direction than what they originally thought that they were supposed to do is now being reguided. You've turned something around. Let's get another card for Hierophant. Okay, Page of Swords. It's landing over here beneath this Eight of Wands with this main male. So the Page of Swords came out in the last reading. Here we've got the Emperor. So whether you're masculine or feminine, this is a lot of masculine energy that is coming through. And if there was a feminine, this does feel like that dark mother energy. There, If there was some sort of feminine, dark feminine energy kind of like messing with you, it's coming to an end. This, this energy can't, is working for you now. So something that wasn't working for you is beginning to work for you. But you could still be a little, like your vision could still be a little distorted. After taking so many hits, you're like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should trust this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Delayed news, patience needed, one who is calculating and unconcerned about the feelings of others, main male, eight of wands, momentum, gaining momentum, energetic. So there's someone that's gotten a second wind. They felt defeated. They've gotten a second wind. The news was delayed, but now it's coming through or somebody's trying to delay. So you could have, yeah, you got an opportunity coming and there's someone working in the background that's trying to delay it with this Eight of Wands in the up, upright and this Page of Swords that's kind of sideways. So there's some interception when it comes to good news, an offer perhaps. The Emperor, like I said, at the bottom, the Lover. So we've got two mate. Oh, Seven of Swords behind the Emperor and the Lovers. I feel like I'm watching some sort of soccer match, man. What's happening? Three of Wands here. So this is like those false starts. So you could have had a couple of false starts in romance or business or both. Three of Swords. Yeah, with this Queen of Clubs followed by the Three of Swords. Someone's had a false start. Ooh, King of Cups. The moon. So there is something. Ooh, the emperor again. This is a heck of a lot of masculine energy. Here's this queen of swords. I feel like this is this mature woman here. Yes, indeed it is because we got the devil followed right after the queen of swords. Woohoo! What the world? What the world? The Emperor, look how this, <laughs> I'm sorry, I get excited. This is exciting. The Emperor, okay? And we're, and, oh! <laughs> we got the Emperor front to back. What is that about? What is that about? So this is some divine masculine energy coming into their full power. Lovers here. Seven of Swords, Three of Wands. Someone's been unveiled for the thief and the miscreant that they are. The moon again. So this could be two different emperors for sure. I mean, we're talking about two different decks here. The full moon, Capricorn full moon energy is coming up. Is here already, I guess. We did see, hold on. We did, in fact, see the devil right behind this Queen of Swords followed by this Ten of Coin and Judgment again. So this is about a serious rever reversal of fortune for someone. There's been a delay. <sighs> what in the heck, man? What is this? What the heck is this? We're going to just do... I know, I know, weird, weird. I'm a weirdo, I swear I am. I already know. All right. 
I just need I just need to see what this is because I really kind of like why are these two emperors here? So this could be this could be I don't know. Let's just keep going. So we got this three of swords here. Why is this wealthy man here? Robbery. <laughs> I told you. It landed on this bad health. I told you. Whoever this poor soul is right here that's on the bed that doesn't have control of the finances or someone who's got power of attorney or is trying to get power of attorney, it is solely to to just take it all. Someone wants to take it all. Oh my gosh. Compromise. They feel like it's the right thing to do. So someone who tried to compromise reason with someone else to get their share of the pot of gold or whatever feels like they're dealing with someone who's irrational. They're not they're not doing what, what they the other person feels is fair, so they're just gonna take it all. Let's try this again with this wealthy man. Oh, everything's landing here in the middle. Bad health, withdrawal. So that's that energy that was showing up in the last reading already up today. Someone making illegal transfers, withdrawals, commitment. Someone's very committed profession. It's there. It's what they do. So this could be a hedge fund. This is someone that's got a lot of power, a lot of authority. This could be both on the micro and the macro level. A lot of misdeeds. I'm going to put this uh, mature woman back here. Why is this mature woman here? So there's a wealthy man that's kind of like behind the scenes. So we got homeless. It's landing on the moon here next to the emperor. So whatever this mature woman sideways, whatever they had in mind for you, it's completely backfired. So if you are dealing with anyone that has been somewhat threatening, threatening to just take away everything that you you have that you own that wasn't a good idea for them yeah conflict so this conflict for some is still ongoing this is an ongoing battle you've got a lot of reinforcements i mean this is kind of fabulous with the em emperor on each end this just kind of i don't even know what to, this is different let me get a card for the emperor Okay, so we got blind. It's landing here with this king of cups. Stop. Someone wants to make this stop. Something's happening. It's an avalanche of despair, and someone wants to make it stop. Let's try with this emperor again. Someone wants you to stop. Someone doesn't want you to be a seer, to be this highly psychic, intuitive individual. Yeah, look, sweetheart, emperor. So someone sees you as just a beautiful soul. Someone could be expecting beloved, you're loved. This could be ancestor energy too, because the ancestors are not playing when it comes to the collective at this time. So there's a lot of moving parts, okay? So some of you could feel very overwhelmed right now. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that's trickling its way to the forefront. Why is Three of Swords here? So we've got good news. It's in the reverse. So this Three of Swords, I feel like, is this good news in the reverse for this, whoever this might be that's in bad health, that feels robbed. So this robbery doesn't necessarily have to be finance. It could be soul. Someone feels like their soul has been robbed. And remember, we do have this Seven of Swords already out as well. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords is the Ten of Swords. We saw the Ten of Swords that clarified the mature woman. So this mature woman could have received some really horrible news about their health, their heart. They already have overspent, could have stolen some money, illegal transfers. Now everything is being taken, taken away, stripped away. Let's try this much wealthy man again. I'm not getting anything. Okay, yeah. Eternal love, it's sideways on this three of wands. So you know there's something better for you. So if you're if you're dealing with some gully people and you're just you're at your wits end, 
maybe you're on your third marriage. Someone could be on their third marriage and they're just like, man, I don't know what I keep doing wrong. <laughs> it's costing me too much money. I got to figure this out. Victories, it's going to, you'll figure it out. Whatever this is, you'll figure it out with the triumph here. And this is that, it's a trophy, but remember, we did see the ace of coin here. So you're, you're going to have victory. It's just, you know, you might get a little twisted around in the meantime. That's how it works. I get, I, look, I get knocked around all the time. Not all the time, but when I do, it's a pretty good knockout. But I get back up. You got to get back up. Take your hits. Eternal love. I feel like someone's been married three times. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. Yeah. Someone could be hiding the fact that they've been married three times with this seven of swords. It's right next to the three of wands. Hmm. Someone could be hiding a uh, relationship with the same sex. And in the meantime, they're also expecting a child. That's a possibility. I'm just reading it how, yeah, especially with the lovers here and the emperor or you, whoever you are, you got a choice between two emperors. But the seven of swords is vibrating kind of heavy. Okay, so we got this queen of clubs here. I completely ignored this card. Let's see what this is about, this queen of clubs. So we got a lot of fire. Sagittarius Leo, this is landing over here underneath the moon, commitment and profession. So there's a queen of clubs. Then we got protest. So you could be this queen of clubs. Someone sees you as this, this queen that's dynamic, very spirited. Or this could be an external energy trying to stop what you have going on. Very committed to stopping you here. If someone wants to tank your business. They want to blindside you. This blind card is coming out sideways. So someone wants to blindside you. Good news is in the reverse clarifying three of swords. Let's try this queen of clubs again. Stop. Someone wants to stop you idea you got a lot of ideas and whoever has been trying to come up with a way to stop you they've had a lot of chances a lot of ideas nothing's working nothing's sticking they feel cursed so back to the very beginning where we saw the uh, astral witchcraft and the psychic attacks cards someone has really been working overtime to try to curse you but in the interim they've gotten their behinds kicked because you're this spiritual bounty hunter. You were sent here with a very specific mission. Psychic attacks. Someone's trying to psychically attack your new beginning with a new love. Someone who is who is uh, worthy. You're worthy of each other. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's a, yeah. Okay, let's just keep going. Someone feels very stale, very played out. They're like very expired bread like they're so expired they're not there's not even anything else to like get moldy feels like it's this queen of wands they're just they're over it they're over trying to stop you because every time they try something bad happens to them but are they over it let's get another card for this queen of wands compromise eternal love so for some instances we are talking about a third party situation someone's doing a lot of begging it feels like a masculine is being begged by some distorted feminine energies to just stay please stay don't go we could have it all someone promised someone else that they'd have it all Compromise. Someone sees you as very uncompromising. You're not interested in whatever drama this is. Marriage landed on top of the three of clubs face down. So here's what I'm saying. There is someone, whoever you, if this is resonating at all, and you've dealt with someone who's been very shady in the past and they're coming back around, this person has been married at a couple of times and they don't want you to know. So there is someone that's in the process of ending a third marriage. 
It's very specific for sure. And this marriage, this ending of this marriage is costing this person a lot of money. Someone could have been cut out of the will because of all these marriages. Like, all you do is get married and it costs too much money. Why am I going to leave you a portion of the estate if all you're going to do is get married again and get robbed again or whatever? Something like that. Let's go to this main mail. So this queen of wands, like whatever, you know, somebody that's external to you, a force even, doesn't have to be an actual person. It's energy working against you, but you're swinging back really hard. <laughs> so for some of you who don't like to fight, who don't like to argue, you're like, you know what? Okay, you want it? You want to play? Let's play. <laughs> Main male. Oh, confinement. It landed here on lovers. I don't even want to read that. Calm. Confinement. Lovers. Someone's trapped in a decision that they made. Trapped in a whole bunch of a bit like a thorn bed of lies. Like the mattress is full of thorns. Um, don't forget we've got commitment here and we had the eight of swords that I pushed to the side so even though I pushed that energy to the side it's coming back again I feel like there's someone that does indeed want to have this love with you they feel trapped they cannot for the life of them get out of whatever mess this is and they're getting hit with news that's not so great like all over the place Someone took a job. Someone took a dirty job. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, see, I'm starting to calm down, too. So that was a lot of energy coming through. And now there's, it's like the calm, but it's like the calm before the storm type of energy. For sure. So you could have recently declined a marriage proposal like, you know what, I'm not going to be, no. Something's a no for you, okay? Main meal. Luck. It's landing almost in reverse on this confinement and lovers. And then we've got justice. Followed by schedule, blessings, readiness. So you're ready. You're ready for this next round. If you've been going through a lot of... Uh, challenging times it's made you wiser it's prepared you your remaining objective you're not lashing out but if you have to hurt someone's feelings you've got no problem doing that it might be well deserved for that person at this point because i feel like someone's just taking things way too far someone's taking something way too far main mail Landing here, apology, it's in the reverse. Luck, lover. So there's someone that once wanted to apologize and now they don't or either they want to apologize and this apology is not sincere. Why? Because they wear a lot of masks. <gasps> Lord have mercy. Let's just get one of these cards. I'm kind of like, this is... For some of you, you're like, you know what? You're just too much. Whoever this person is, you're like, you're too much. I'm not dealing with you. You're, you're too much. Someone is too much. Someone might see you as too much. Like, what is it going to take to get you back? Blue calcite. I love this blue here. It's so pretty. But look where it, the color matches. It's, it's pretty close to this card here, robbery. So let's see what this is. Act on your dreams. Meditation retreat. Staring up at the ceiling, worrying about the future at 3 a.m. Some of you could be waking up at 3 a.m. I feel like these are your adversaries that are waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat because they're losing way more than they ever thought possible having messed with you. Okay? Continue to dream big. Don't allow anyone to extinguish your creativity or crush your dreams with this idea here that did come face down and this blind here that's sideways so that's what this is about too someone just hell-bent on crushing your dreams like they're like how dare you have such big dreams for yourself who do you think you are 
you don't deserve this life that you are creating for yourself. So someone is able to see your manifestations and they're quite resentful. I didn't get a card for this emperor, so I guess I should. Emperor. All right. Pride. It's in the reverse. Pride before the fall. Marinette. So someone allowed someone else to control their, their feelings. On the global scale, we're talking about two, uh, two emperors. One's falling and the other one is being seen now by the masses as a sweetheart. That's that flipping the switch that's flipped. Okay, so we got a whole new, like the global scene right now, while it might even appear chaotic, it's actually pretty, you can see it pretty clearly. And there's still a puppet master, okay? So no matter which emperor, there's still someone behind the scenes, behind the veil, controlling the narrative here. Things aren't what they seem. Yeah, jet. Claim your space. Oh, hardcore tarot session. This feels like a hardcore tarot, tarot session. Ooh, triggers. Yeah, someone wants to be on your guest list. Someone wants to show up at your friend do front door. They didn't get an invite to them to whatever. Could be a marriage. You could be getting married and someone's mad because they didn't get an invitation. Something like that. Let's get this deck. I just want to uh, get a little bit more clarity on these masculine energies. I feel like this uh, mature woman who could be this queen of clubs here just is like on a timeout. Someone put this energy on a timeout because they were doing way too much. Emperor. Bulldog. So this emperor is not playing around. The one that's being seen as the sweetheart now, they're a bulldog. They're not gonna stop, okay? Someone that's coming toward you is not gonna stop. You're not gonna allow anyone to stop you. You could be in your bulldog energy. Like, please and thank you and know that you will still get knocked the hell out. You keep coming for me, that kind of energy. Ooh. Wealthy man. This deck scares me. I never know what's going to come out of it. This is like, oh my gosh. Wealthy man. Oh, it's landing over here on compromise and eternal love. Keeping score. I'm telling you. Someone who you have completely withdrawn from is still keeping score. Let's try this again. Wealthy man. Oh, it's landing on keeping score. Whistleblower. So we got whistleblower energy in the house. Somebody's about to tell it all. Someone's about to tell it all. They're telling because if they don't, they're going to stay locked up. So someone could already be locked up. That's on a global scale. Someone's a whistleblower. They want to come toward you. This person is caught up in a lot of drama. You don't want them near you because they're just going to bring this drama to your front door. Let's try this again with wealthy man. Okay, forget it. Everything's going over here. So I feel like this wealthy man is keeping things like under wraps. There's something that's under wraps. I'm not going to get a lot on that. Do not lend them the money. They have no intentions to pay you back. Taurus, Virgo, Leo. You could be dealing with one of these three signs or have these signs prominently in your chart. This person that wants to borrow some money from you because they're caught up. They could be an actual whistleblower. They need money to get out of jail. They need a place to live. Hmm. There's a lot of anxiety here. I feel like you've got a lot of people right now that were against you. They're under, they're under the uh, scope. They're under the scope. Wise main male here. Under the microscope. Something about a microscope. Oh, right. Amazing grace. It's landing here with this emperor. This could be amazing grace like the, the what they sing at funerals. 
Ooh, main male tries to get. Ooh. Busted lip landed on this three of wands. So this main male here who is still in the seven of swords energy that's still keeping score. They're they got a busted lip because they're they're they they lie too much. Their mouth is dry. Their lips are always cracking because they lie too much. Seven of swords. So whatever. We're done with that too. Yep. Anything else? Let's just see. Anything else? Whoa. Whoa. All right. We got you are handsome. AI video clones. They deeply love you, but they stay away because they are afraid and remain unhappy. So there you have it. You're dealing with some flesh spots. Be mindful of the new cycle. There's a lot of manipulation going on with images. Someone is very handsome or they see you as very handsome or you see someone as very handsome. Someone's very handsome. Okay. Regal. Someone's very regal. Anything else? Oh, too much makeup. So someone wears too much makeup. I feel like that's that mask energy that's coming through. You're, you see through all of this. You're seeing through all of it. Emotionally wrecked by this connection. Very apparent. You are protected by angels and demons. That's very apparent. Yellow water. So we could have some sort of incoming thing that's going to affect the water. We've been seeing that a lot in the narratives where people are being displaced. That could be why this homeless card is here. People are being displaced because of bad water, contaminated water. That could be what this whistleblower is about. It could have to do with large bodies of water. It could have to do with water management, um, sell out, selling resources to places that, yeah, other countries, that sort of thing. Final messages for the collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. Ooh, this is a deal fight. Ooh, clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Now, this is quite interesting. Ooh, career transition. Archangel Chamuel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So I think I did start the reading off about changes that could be love or work. But back to this clairvoyance here. Remember, we did see this wealthy man and it, he was with the Six of Swords. So I do feel like this character here, there's something going on with their awakening, ascension, and you've got something to do with it. This person is awakening fully, okay? And it has to do with your love. Your love, their love, love in general. Something is being awakened when it comes to the energy of love. After a lot of backstabbing, heartbreaking experiences. So that's what I have, Collective. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And I will see you soon.